Okay, so oh, yeah. I built a storage annex and I actually found some time to uh, reorganize all our crap. <laughs> it's good. Because mm -hmm. we had a lot of crap. Yeah, there's just another building next to the main house that's just full of chests. <laughs> and there's a little sign saying like what's yeah. in each row basically. Storage annex. Oh yeah, Phil, I, I bought you an orange sapinator because while I was doing that stuff, uh, the traveling merchants happened to be selling it. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure I'll enjoy it. Alright, here you go. <laughs> so yeah, as far as our arena, I was wondering about just carving out a large space because we all have the flying mounts now, right? Yeah, I was thinking of just a big space somewhere. That saves us spending time with platforms and stuff. Yeah, so a lot of the chests in the main base are empty now, so we can put things that are actually useful there. <laughs> it's crazy. I know. I got some butterfly dust while I was hunting around oh, for stuff too. shit. I did the wrong thing. Oh god. I thought it was a life fruit. It was <laughs> not. Uh, well, let's... I don't know. Hope for the best. Yeah, we need to get on teams. What was that? We need to get on with a team so that I can warp. To I got fill. the life fruit. Hooray. Oh, you're dead. Now. Oh, that one. <laughs> yeah. Look, uh, um, I did remember what life fruit looked at. It said there was a life fruit nearby. There was a thing that was glowing. <laughs> All right, fair enough. It looks like she despawned. I was I was wondering if she was going to go after uh, Paul next. <laughs> what team color are we? That's what I was going to say, because I was going to warp to Phil and try to help him fight her, but... Sorry. No worries, there are, are many, many bulbs now. I know, because I saw them. <laughs> this wouldn't be the first time, anyways. Yeah, I think I can make butterfly wings. Your light fruits just regrow, I'm guessing? Yeah. Because yeah. I'm finding like a bunch of them just in places that we've been before. Nice. Yeah, they just, I mean, kind of like the bulbs, they grow randomly. And how much do I have to eat to get max? What is the max? You need 20. Your yeah. max health will be 500 if you have, if you've maxed out. Yeah. I am not. There you go. Each fruit gives 5. Yeah, I mostly uh, I want to go looking for a lava charm so I can get my Terra Spark boots. These life fruits must have been growing a lot because I'm just finding them randomly everywhere. Yeah, so I think I found the place where I recall someone saying something about being a pretty large open area. Might be a good place to fight my Terra. Hey, there's even a uh, bomb here. I might want to open it up a little more. But... That bulb over here. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is not very high. <laughs> uh, I, I have a jungle key. Is there a oh. chest I should put it in specifically? Um, no, not specifically, but we definitely want to hold on to that. I'd be happy to hold on to it for you. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll make a chest. Well, I mean, there aren't like a lot of those. It's just. <laughs> Like, we really need exactly one. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, I've got it there, and it's marked as a favorite. <laughs> Oops. All right, then. Should I uh, wormhole over there? If you want. I don't know. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Teleport again. <Okay. laughs> that was fine. Monic hellfish. Oh, I missed that other fishing quest. Oops. Yeah, probably. I think I missed it too. When I really need that weather radio. It would save me so much inventory space right now. Ooh, I got a golden carp. 
got a second golden carp. I thought these were super rare. Uh, According to their wiki. I mean, rare in Terraria is kind of a relative thing. Sometimes you get really lucky and you get a lot of something that's supposed to be very rare. I've been getting a lot of chlorophyte. Which, you know, awesome. I don't even need, but yeah, you guys need it, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> kind of wandering around looking and keeping an eye out for life fruits and chlorophyte. Slowly making my way in the direction that I'm trying to go. Yeah, I've been doing that, but with more dying. <laughs> I have a swarm of miniature twins minions, so that's helpful. Oh wait, are you using the uh, pirate staff at all? Uh, no, actually not at this point. Yeah. you want it back? Yeah, those guys were awesome. <laughs> yeah, okay. They are pretty Apparently big. golden fish day. Yeah. You got a third one? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's Terraria luck for you right there. You know, sometimes you'll be looking for something forever and be completely unable to get it, and then other times you'll just I get mean, like a I billion still of something. I haven't gotten a radar from a crate, which is also a thing that I have been <laughs> looking for the entire time I've been there. Yeah. Again, Terraria luck. This is how it works. <laughs> <laughs> well, if the drops are supposed to be random, then like, it's random, right? Yeah. Yeah, but sometimes it's random good, and sometimes it's random bad, you know? And it seems to be, like, like streaky. Like, you get a lot of one thing that's supposed to be incredibly rare one time, and then, like, none of it yeah, another time. I don't know if it's, like, from play session to play session, or world to world, or what it is. But it definitely gets streaky. Oh, right, I'm now playing with turtle power. Oh, and I just die. I wasn't paying attention, but apparently I maxed out on life fruits. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, I'm at 475 now, so I'm doing pretty well. I should spend my time wandering around the jungle replacing torches, right? Yes. <laughs> I like how there's a life fruit right next to my terrible. <laughs> oh, God. are attacking enemies right next to the winter bulb as well. Nothing can go wrong. No, nothing at all. I'm not worried about anything at all ever. Ball versus Queen B. I don't know how I did that. Yeah, I was wondering how you did that last time. You need help over there? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> well, I'll make my way slowly in that direction while I continue to replace torches. That's what is appropriate in this instance, right? I can't use the pylon though. This is a terrible, uh, terrible disaster. <laughs> we have worm Oh, I got killed by AB. Oh, and now she's coming for me. She's almost dead. You should oh, be able to kill her pretty she quick. She's like right, way past me. <laughs> oh, maybe she's going to me. Oh, she's almost dead. Oh, yeah, she came back. She's probably dead. Now she's dead. <laughs> My swarm and my whip finished her off quickly. She had like no health left by the time she killed me. Yeah. Well, on the bright side, I'm near where you died, so we can get back here easily. <laughs> I was gonna say, don't fall off the cliff though. There happened to be some chlorophyte in here, so I don't know. There's also a little bit sticking out near the bottom where of the shaft. Yeah, like hanging off the short. top. <laughs> yeah, I've been finding quite a bit, really. It's just like while I'm just randomly around, I keep finding it. I'm basically not even mining it unless it's like a big vein. Yeah, again, I don't think we're gonna have a huge problem finding enough. I mean, the other thing is, you guys explored the jungle a lot more than I did, like, early in the game, so... You know, I'm also just exploring areas and filling out my map while I'm doing all this, too. I'm also doing some of that right now. 
There's... <laughs> I see. Bet you didn't expect to be here. Oh, exactly. Yeah, Fairy just led me to uh, an empty chest. <laughs> of course. Good job, Fairy. Well, you should destroy all chests upon me. Yeah, that is one strategy. You empty a chest, yeah. then take it with you so that it doesn't... Especially now, even more so now that there are the fairies, because they always like to lead you to them. Which has led me to one of the places where I hadn't finished replacing all the torches yet. Hmm. I suspect there are many of those places. I just go wherever the life fruit takes me. <laughs> George is a traveling man. I go wherever the unswapped torches take me, and also chlorified and life roots and various other things. Yeah, I have uh, my turtle armor, so I'm pretty good for chlorified at this point. But okay. yeah, I'm still farming in it. Okay. So mostly, I guess at this point, Paul will need for true might. Actually, yeah, and Phil will too for spectre armor. After we defeat the Terra, so... Yeah, we're we're gonna keep on going uh, with uh, that for a while. Yeah, I mean we'll need it for bullets and stuff too. So, but I do need to swap all these torches, right? It's clearly important. The more luck, the better. That's right. Glad you're on board, George. Yes, more <laughs> loot. I know how these games work. More loot. <laughs> yes. So say loot-based economy. You're probably just happy that you don't have to do it. I don't have to have to do it, but I'm still doing my part. Hooray. I want to quote that Starship Troopers video, but I can't remember the exact line. I'm doing my part, I guess that's it. Yeah, I'm doing my <laughs> part. But you've got to make it sound like a little kid. Right. I'm doing my yeah. part. <laughs> would you like to know more? <laughs> yeah. Oh, though, would you like to know more? Oh, I like when I'm replacing torches and then I follow a branch until I run into a part that's already been fully replaced. Heartwarming. Oh. <laughs> if only you had gone further the first time. Yeah. Well, you can only go so far in one direction before you have to go more than one direction. Anyone still short on uh, life roots? Uh, I need four. I've got two. Yeah, I keep seeing them on my detector, like, life fruit nearby, but then I never actually spot them. Oh, speaking of which, though, there's one. <laughs> yeah, moths have a lot of hit points. Damn. Yeah. Oh, I got another butterfly dust, so if anybody wants butterfly wings. I already got mine. Aren't they kind of a dumb given their mounts? A little bit, yeah. It's not that, not exactly important. Their mounts? What? We well, have. our mounts yeah. allows us to fly in unlimitedly, basically. Yeah. No, uh, I, I find wings are great if you're going around the caverns and whatnot. Yeah, there's there's kind of a time and a place for everything. They're still useful to have. There are certain fights where um, it'll be better to be on foot, actually. And I find myself trying to attack enemies, but then realizing I have my torches stranded. <laughs> I mean, I've been there too. Haven't we all? Oh, hey, this is from like way back near the start of the game, I think, when. Uh, Phil had gotten killed by a trap that blew up when he was kind of berserkering his way down into the jungle. Oh, it's another moth. Oh, and I got another butterfly dust, too. It's funny, because I killed, like, several moths before I got one at all. Now I got two in a row. Again, Terraria luck. This is apparently how it works. I ran out of torches to replace in this area. I keep
keep seeing Plantera bulbs here and there. Yeah, there's so many of them, aren't there? <laughs> there really are. I found another stretch of torches to be replaced. Hooray. My life has purpose and meaning. Goblin army, eh? Sure. Why wouldn't we want that now? Do we want to do this uh, post-mechanical bosses pre-Plantera? Um, no, I think basically they're just the hard mode version of it, and then we can change it again after that. Uh, only thing is, Phil, did you ever get the Shadow Flame Hex doll? I don't think so. Okay, that's one weapon we could get from the Goblin Army, potentially. It might not be, you know, so horrible as it was the last time. There by himself with the goblin army. Let me fly away. Heal myself and then go and fight them. Wahaha. <laughs> I guess I could come back. Thank you. you the song of my people. <laughs> Interesting song that your people have. Probably I feel that standing on the hill is a good thing. Possibly because of this swarm. The good thing about the harp is that it doesn't actually drain my mana in any certain way. Nice. Just stand on the top of this hill if they try to come near me. <laughs> Kill him, my swarm. Kill him. Oh. Alright, so the summoners are still pain. Not as much, but still pain. But they're also the ones that drop the good weapons, so. A uh, Shadow Flame Hex doll? Yeah, that's the one. Perhaps of the uh, Furious variety for uh, Phil? Who uh, needs the fruits? Uh, I still need three. I've got five. Okay. I still need four. Okay. Uh, I also need four. Okay. Apparently, Paul just gave them all to me. I just go on the ground and let whoever wanted him to grab them. <laughs> Alright, well, you guys both need more than I do, I guess. So. Arthur, the floatier has arrived. Okay, Phil, I just gave you two. Did you? Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I only need two more, and then I will be done. Great. All right, I actually like to just blow up the house again. Oh, that's why. I was thinking, I was like, but I just beamed there a second ago. Of course you blew up the house again. <laughs> it's bound to happen. Yeah, it is the third time now. I'm so thankful that full chests don't get blown up, although a lot of those chests aren't full now, so it's a minor miracle that they're still there. <laughs> I did it again. Oh, dear. <sighs> so, yeah, a lot of people ask me why I don't use explosives more. <laughs> I feel that this is a good example of why. Got a weather radio. Ooh. Oh. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, I need one of those if you don't need that one. I don't think I need it. I think I already have the... I'm just gonna look it up. I'll be back. I know I left the house kind of unfinished, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, well, I have to... It was very carefully placed, and now I have to figure out how it was placed again. <laughs> Do you have any of the rainbow blocks? Where did those go? When you look besides the spider fish, you will see a web radio. I do desperately want that weather radio. Okay, this weather radio will help me free up enough space to deal with the rest. My cat distracted me and I got killed. 
That's what you get for having a cat. Pretty much. <laughs> Fish finder, PDA, cell phone. Ooh. Uh, yes, I have done it. Congratulations. Thank you. Very big moment. Oh, I remember when I got my cell phone. Yeah, yeah, you and you already had it for a while. <laughs> That's what happens when you go fishing. No, it isn't. <laughs> okay, I guess I should deal with this fishing quest before I try to fix the house again. Uh, yeah, I guess really it's like that too. You get the map of the jungle with all of the like money from places people have died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. I was looking at that earlier. It's actually not that much money though. It's all like yeah. 50 bits of silver here and there. It's just there's so many coin markers. Yeah. <laughs> What's the quest fish? Uh, spider fish. Uh, spider fish. Spider fish. Spider fish. Yes. Why? Oh, uh, a it's like a big does. hole in the house. That's why I'm getting attacked here. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. How Paul uh, blew up the house twice in a row. Oh, good. We no. do have an Come. ring ball box. So I, don't I mean, they should have been just floating around there. I, don't, I didn't pick them up. Paul says he didn't pick things up, but things are missing, and I don't have them. <laughs> I, been, I might have picked up some stuff. I didn't pick up everything, though. I also don't see the piggy bank. Oh, I've got the bank in my uh, stash. Right. Somehow I have an excess of background walls. <laughs> Should oh, I nice. back for that? Yes. Kill them all. Uh, I have yet to finish rebuilding our base, but, you know, it's a little we don't really have a choice. That's true. Solar Eclipse does not choose us. Well, it does. He's coming back to the surface. Do it. Not yet. There's lots of stuff that we want to kill from these guys. By lots of stuff, you mean you want your other book in your well, yeah, <laughs> two of those, but there's also some uh, accessories we can collect. I'm to think if there's anything I need from this. Oh, just got a Neptune shell. That's useful. Yeah, those are great, actually. That's one of the things we need. Right. And vampire stuff. Mothra on dead. Best thing about the Rainbow Squad is you don't have to aim. That's one of the great things about my form, dude. Mostly I can just stand on this hill here. Once in a while I have. Okay, I got a third Neptune shell, so if anybody needs Neptune shells, I'm your guy. 
Damn. Nice. I have not picked up a whole lot. I think that's the only thing I've gotten so far. Just three Neptune shells. <laughs> I got a bat wing. Nice. That's I about it. Moonstone. Yes, I literally have Neptune shells for everyone. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Yeah, I think those are the ones. I have a moon shard. Nice, you can combine it with one of my Neptune shells. Then you can be transformative at all times. Well, actually, not all times. Night time and water time. Moth one back. Try to lay your eggs. Try. Oh, I got one of the swords. Awesome. The orange gun is good at like chunking those monsters for a lot of nice. like on Mothra. Yeah. Oh, there's another uh, oh, I dropped 56 gold. I've been so careful to keep stashing my gold. <laughs> oh, I got a shell too. Yeah, there was one laying there. That's what I was about to say when I died. I think we're done. Nice, yeah, just in time. Now I can try to repair the house again. I like how there are no NPCs house here at all whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> They're all dead. We're basically flying over there. Yeah. Well, I, I still have my spawn point at the hallow thing, which is working out well for me right now. <laughs> I just used the magic. I, I, I changed my uh, spawn location uh, to the main base. I thought, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> oh, I got a fisherman's pocket guide. If anyone you don't know me very well, do you, George? <laughs> I didn't realize you like to blow things up on your own that's team. All been, that's all I've been doing the entire game. <laughs> this is the third and fourth times that he blew up our base. <laughs> that is very true. He's working for the other team. Whatever the other team is. After and I blew up the base like the second time, I think I put all of my dynamite in my safe. <laughs> my reference point for what the base used to look like open. Want the door back? Uh, whatever. Alright, I can make it look like nice instead of hell, or maybe I should make it look like hell. Maybe I should put four obsidian doors on. We certainly have enough of them. Make everything explosion proof. If only I could. <laughs> Actually, technically, if we made the walls of the house out of dungeon brick, that would work. Now we'll have all hell doors. Okay, I think I fixed the house. Just need two life crystals now. It feels like a waste not to just go for them. Right? Yeah, I need two as well. Wow, I have so much more space in my inventory now. Uh, George, I just gave you a broken hero sword. Thank you. Uh, Paul, uh, what are you using uh, for your wings right now? I'm still using the pixie, but I don't really care to upgrade so you can go ahead oh uh, I've, I've, I've already got um i've already got one of the uh, dev items here i'll, I'll throw it at you so what is the cloak for again yeah uh, they're wings do you get a whole dev set or um i got the, the yeah more or less I, I got his wings uh hat his style his fancy pants Oh, his luxury shampoo? Yeah, because that's that's how it works. Like some of the developers have a full set that you can get, and it's like it's not always like different ones have different items, but I guess you got one of the developer sets. Oh yeah. Which I've never ever gotten. Oh <laughs> I should have been more braggy about it. Clearly. 
Although I do have the sunglasses that were earlier in this game. I got the only developer item that I've ever gotten, which was a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> so what are we going to be doing next? Are we going to fight Plant Terror anytime soon, or are we still farming for stuff? Um, I mean, we could fight Plant Terror anytime, basically, at this point. Yeah, I think I'm good for that. I'd wanna, do it. I want to finish my Terra Spark loot, but that's not actually necessary right now, so... I guess, um, we just want to finish filling up on life fruits, which we're very close to. I'll go explore the jungle some more. Alright. Yeah, I mean, technically we could probably get the life fruits while setting up the arena for Plantera, so... Probably that's the main thing we should be doing, is setting up that arena. Which really just needs to be like a big open area with campfires and heart lanterns. Let me slowly make my way down there. Now I can come. Yay. I was contemplating whether we should like build some housing down here. I mean, we might want one at least yeah. for Yeah, we might want one at least for the nurse at the very least, and probably it would be useful because we're gonna be going to the jungle temple and golem later too, so we may as well build like a village down here. Okay. No, the village, I mean, just like you have. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm in the giant area right now. Okay. Yeah, George and I, I guess, are just looking for life fruits or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm good for life fruits now. Um, okay, actually, okay. I've got an extra one. Okay. Oh, I just got killed by uh, That's the... enough for me, too, then, because, yeah, I just needed one at this point. Okay, here, I'll pass this off to you. You're welcome. There's one right by where I died, like to the left of me. Still, are you full yet? I still need two. Okay. Ah, you got your terror blade? Yes. Nice. <laughs> the sword where you sw swing the dark and shoot out the light. <laughs> nice. Now you need to start collecting swords so that you can get the Z. I've already been doing that. <laughs> Got another godly yellow. Can't get enough. I think one where I dropped that I dropped a long time ago. Yeah, George had like two, so yeah, not worried about it. <laughs> I need one life fruit left. Nice. So we really are almost ready. There we go. I'm full. Great. Excellent. I still got one left if anybody needs it, otherwise I can just trash it. I think we're good. Got the achievement and everything. Okay, so... Yeah, there's kind of like a big area. So how do you want to build the arena, Tom? Yeah, I was kind of just contemplating that. Um, mainly we just need a big open area. I'm gonna bomb out anything. Well, I do have dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, we can basically just clear out any big chunks that are sort of in the way, I guess. But yeah, it's also a question like just how much do we want to open up and stuff. Watch out for my terra balls. <laughs> oh, I dropped a whole platinum there. Yeah, I was pretty close to a platinum. Oh, I see a Pantera bulb just up to the top right. Yeah, that's exactly, that was one of the reasons that I sort of was thinking about this area. Besides being one of the big open areas, it's also one of the places where there's a Pantera bulb too. Given that there's lava below, I'm going to just build bridges across. <laughs> Oh, hey, another life fruit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, I figured we would probably get them. No, oh, they are all useless. Yeah. Literally. I don't even have a secondary use like the life crystals. I don't know if they're worth money. They're probably worth something. Are you just clearing stuff out, Tom? Yeah. I have pirates again. Oh, pirate invasion? Yeah. 
Are we done with pirates? I would assume we're done with pirates. Yeah, probably. George versus the pirates? Yes. <laughs> I'm mostly farming for money. They are definitely worth money. How big does it even need to be, Tom? Uh, I mean, big is certainly good. Given that there are, like, a few of us, um, you know, we're probably going to be able to, like, kite around her and stuff. But... So it should increase the size of this cave? Sure. However big you want it to be. Uh, feel careful that there's a bald next up there. <laughs> What are these weird wires on the left? Uh, could be, is it like behind the orange block? Because there's the, uh, temple and then there's... Traps and it might be a temple. temple? I don't know, I can't dig through it, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that'll be the temple and then inside the temple there's all kinds of traps. You'll find out about that soon enough. <laughs> Great! Yeah. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is build this house into the side here, so that it's kind of protected. So what we can do is kind of spawn in fairly easily. Uh, yeah. apparently Lee Queen Bee spawned somewhere. Oh, oh Queen Bee, always Queen Bee. And she's dead. Yeah, it was right in her way. I almost got sort of stunlocked there, but it was fine. I accidentally used my buff potions. And... So there are a few pirates here. <laughs> a a few. Yeah, they weren't bad when I was just there, but now that they're targeting other people. Oh, I was killed by something. Oh, it was Medusa. I didn't see her at the bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the only thing near the bottom here. There's a marble. Biome cavern. I guess I'll help with this pirate invasion. Sure. I'll be okay down here. Got a black spot if anybody doesn't have that yet. I'll do. Even I got one. Fourth black spot. Yeah. This is a lot of boats. Fifth black spot. Oh my god. I'm venturing down some incredibly deep area in the jungle. Sixth black spot. Oh, nice. It's a good thing I'm unlimited arrows. Eh, don't be the good ones for this guy. Ah. Good thing I have unlimited swords. Oh, this thing's still happening. Let's see. Seventh. Pirates have been defeated. Did you guys finish off that ship? All seven. Yep. Nice. I see somebody blew a hole in the ground here. That'd be me. Stinking. Likely, right? Yeah, the black spot is useful for just, you know, building and digging too. Does anybody need a bandage? Oh, I do. Definitely. I can definitely use a bandage. Yeah, that goes with the Bezoar. Makes the medicated bandage. Huh. Uh, nobody needs the nature's, nature's gifts either, right? Sweet, I just got the Ankh charm. Nice, congratulations. Thank you. Now all I need is a cobalt shield. And I can make the Ankh shield. And I get it. Yeah, with polish and bandage, I get an Ankh charm. Now I guess we can go to the dungeon and start exploring. Uh, let's do that after Pantera. Yeah, we're going to want to do that after Pantera anyway, so. That kind of works out. Sure. Are we killing Plantera now? Anytime. Let's do it now. Sure. Yes, I will.
will make a star bale. Sure. <laughs> it will help me on my way. Oh, there really are a lot of black spots in the mount's chest. Oh yeah, I put them all in there. <laughs> so many. Okay, Pantera. Or Plantera. I don't know. Are we fighting a band? Sort of. Uh, sort of? Anti band. <laughs> it is actually named sort of after that. This is where I would make a clever reference to any of their songs, except I know of none of them. Cemetery Gate. It's my, one of my uh, theme songs when I load up Left 4 Dead 2. <laughs> How could we forget that? So are we heading down, or what's the deal? I am heading down. I'm going to see if there's a discount card in uh, any of our uh, accessories chests, and it looks like there aren't, so I'll head out. Yeah, I did not get one, I can tell you that. I'll just wait for Phil to get down, then I teleport to where he is. Aha, uh -huh, you're assuming I know where I'm going. Do we have, like, a bed there to sleep on? Right, that was one of the things I was going to do. Uh, yeah, I was going to send our nurse down there, too. Because we should always put our nurse in harm's way. This is how Terraria works. Always remember, kids, put your nurse where she is most likely to die. Fair, we do that in real life, too, pretty much. That's true. That's sort of the story of what's happening right now. Now that I'm here, and I wasted a potion to get there, that's when I remembered I need some other things. Bed. That's one of the things. Which can only be crafted at that rarely used station. And... A couple of archers wanted to muscle in on our uh, little home down there. <laughs> but I gave them the business. Good. Alright. We have built a house. Come to us, nurse. We beseech you. Right, and we want campfires and heart lanterns. You brought everything except the crystal ball, didn't you? Um, right, yeah, I should bring that as well. I guess. I mean, technically, I could bring a pylon down there and build a house for another NPC so that we could warp directly there. Do we want to put our jungle pylon down there? Or any of the other ones, really? I mean, I suppose we could. Yeah. Does it matter? Um, well, just because we're going to need to come back later as well, because we're going to have the jungle temple to go through and then uh, sure. golem. So. It actually might be nice to have something that's actually somewhere close to where we need to be. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, the question is, do I want to bring the jungle pylon down there, or I could use the underground one? Um, the underground one is near a lot of fishing holes. Like, Do we need the pylon down here? I think it would be very useful to have a pylon down there. Alright, I would go with the jungle one, because it's not really doing much on the surface anyways. Yeah, okay. Okay, do you guys have potions and things? Yes. I think so. I think I'm good on potions. Okay, because I just crafted a whole bunch of endurance potions. And I will put more than a full stack of As long as they potions. don't die more than five times, I'm good on potions. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, because I can bring any of these with me too. There's like thorn potions, archery potions, titan potions. And I potions. assume if I die more than five times, the fight will be over one way or the other. If you can bring some thorn potions, that'd be nice. I don't have any of those. Okay, yeah, there's a couple in the chest, so... Is there anything I should know before we do this, by the way? Um, so it's uh, a giant plant that basically reaches out and grabs the walls and the background and stuff and spits giant thorny things at you. Yeah. Don't get hit, I guess. Yeah, that's one of the recommendations, I would say. Try not to die. What are we waiting for right now? Um, I'm just gonna put another little house here so that we can get back here later. Okay, now I just need to place things around. Also, I really need to get some more health potions. Because I apparently ran out, but I can beam back and forth now. Hooray! Hooray! Yeah, success. So 
So if you guys need to get anything, there is a pylon uh, above the nurse's house. I think I'll be taking advantage of that. Makes sense, too. You good to go? Looks like we're all here. Let's do this. Um, yeah, so I just need to place the campfires and stuff. How much health regen do these campfires give us? Enough. <laughs> it actually makes a really big difference. Look, I can tell you're impatient. <laughs> I will note there's a couple of like little straggling one blocks everywhere in the arena. If we yeah, can clean this up, that's kind of nice. What it's doing but... right now. <laughs> kind of just cleaning little bits where like it's like I don't want to run into that in the middle of a fight. You guys will want to get you know, your weapons and whatever else. Ready? Set your spawn point on the bed. I do still have a few more campfires in Heart Lantern if we, if we need them anywhere. I think the arena is completely covered. Basically, just put them all in the corner. Oh. Oh, somebody. Oh. The uh, one campfire in one corner got knocked out. Yeah, don't turn the campfires off. <laughs> I promise nothing. <laughs> we good? Let's do this. Alright. Fine. Fine. Oh, and get the buffs from the buff station. Turn all my buffs on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Just a second. Just a second. Just a second. All right, we ready? George. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Run for your lives. Travel merchants here, I need to get my DPS meter. <laughs> Maybe today he'll have it. Plantera's almost dead. Funny because Plantera is known for being like really hard and oh, this isn't going badly at all. <laughs> I haven't dropped below three quarters health. I did, but I'm okay now. Great. <laughs> yeah, he was basically following me for like three quarters of the fight, so I just kind of ran with it. And I fell down as a statue. <laughs> Great. So basically, the strategy of using George as the tank works perfectly. Yep. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. I just need to get all my defensive items. Yeah. Yeah, actually, now you can get one of the biggest things for that, which is the one that yeah. lets you take all the damage for us. Yay. <laughs> you guys will be healing me, right? Sure. This game totally works that way. Oh, I got a baby plantera. Ah. Yeah, I should check to see what loot I got. I got a spore sack, a Venus magnum, temple key. Yeah, I got a temple key and a leaf blower, oh. so if uh, Phil wants to change uh, whatever me melee weapon he got. Uh, I got a strong seedler. Yes! And... Oh, nice. Yeah, we're definitely changing. Yeah, and George, I got, <laughs> I got the flower pouch, so you can have that too. Oh, sweet. I have nothing for you, unfortunately. I got, okay. the, pygmy... I got the pygmy stuff for... Oh, yeah, I was going to say that I, I did get a pygmy staff, which is exactly okay. what I needed, although yours might, I don't know, has the... Actually, mine's pretty good. Furious, it's... A... Oh my god, come over here. Did, did everybody see that fairy, like, lead me to our own chest? <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
Okay, I gave you your flower pal, George. Um, Thank you. Oh, and we immediately got our cyborg. Nice. Nice. Um, Phil, what's the modifier on the staff that you got? Oh, it does not have a modifier. Oh, okay, mine's better then. <laughs> <laughs> but most importantly of all of this is that the traveling merchant did have the DPS. Nice. Meter. Oh, sweet. Good luck. Now I have the goblin tech. So now all I need is a radar. Nice. Hey, what do you want us want me to put the auto hammer? I just picked it up. Um, I don't know, put it somewhere around the main base, I guess. I guess I should release my pygmies against this, uh... These guys are annoying me. Get them, pygmies. Alright, it's are on awesome. the ground. Yes. Fire spears. So, how much chlorophyte do we have so I can start working into shroomite already? Um, we should have a lot, actually. There's there's quite a bit of ore in the chest there. 75 bars. So we have enough? We'll see. All right. There will certainly be enough from my set. I don't know if anybody... Probably not for more than one, though. Well, that might be alright, though. Now to find the shrooms. What really annoys me is that even at this point in the game, the hornets are still annoying. <laughs> well, yep. th there's like several layers of them too at this point. I mean, there's uh, new hornets, and then there's like the hard mode heroic whatever hornets we're going against. Right. Are the pygmies? So the pygmies are better than the optic staff, correct? Uh, possibly, yeah. I mean, the optic staff like allows like they fly. So that can be useful, but uh, the pygmies are stronger. So, yeah. Well, I, I I noted that like the pirates, uh, technically they weren't flyers, but they could uh, they could like go onto flying mounts of their own and uh, follow you. Yeah, yeah, and the pygmies will do that as well. They actually, I think they have like little surfboards, or no, they it looks like they fly around on their little spears. Actually. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Like witches, but with spears. And the spore sack, anything? I don't think yeah, actually, the spore sack is going to be really useful in the dungeon. Yeah. Alright, I still got 12 uh, shroomite bars left after making this, making all of our stuff, and 9 chlorophyte, which with more of the shrooms we can make more shroomite bars with. Okay. So if we need more shroomite stuff, then, well. I mean, we'll the shroomite is more... really mostly your armor. <laughs> right. Pretty much. I mean, I guess I could do the bullet helmet too if I really wanted to. I went helm. I went arrow for now since I'm using the shot bow. Right. And if we really wanted to save, I can just wait until uh, we kill one of the pillars and I can get the uh, phantasm. Oh! <laughs> I just found my lava charm. Oh, nice! Yes. Very nice. Yeah, it was right down where I was exploring before. Um, but I didn't even realize it was like right here. I was remarkably close to it before. <laughs> so that means... I can... Uh, Your seedler... Special boots. Yes. Your seedler is in the weapon stack. Check. Yes. Okay. Oh, thank you, Phil. And I had found water walking boots early in the game, and I'd been saving them this entire time. <laughs> right, I also need an obsidian skull. I went ahead and made the, made the mask. So we're at a free might again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just realized that I had totally intended to swap out my accessories for the plantera fight, and I totally forgot to do that. So I actually could have been a lot more powerful there. <laughs> like I feel that after the Plantera fight, we could have summoned her again and killed her again without a problem. Yeah. Oh yeah, pretty easily. Um, yeah, and I just got my Terra Spark boots. Sweet. Nice. Congrats. Yeah, and that was the other other thing that I had meant to do, which was to reforge some of these things that I got recently. So basically, I mean, we were, if anything, kind of overprepared, and yet. 
could have been prepared enough. Yeah, could have been better prepared. So I reforged the pygmy staff that I got. I right. got godly on the first try. Nice. If you want it. Um. I mean, I've got. I've already got a bonus to damage and knockback, fifteen percent each. I guess. I don't know how high is the godly boost. Fifteen percent damage, five crit, fifteen percent knockback. Yeah. Okay. So the only difference is the crit, which doesn't actually apply. I don't think anyway. So. <laughs> All right. So what's next? Um, well, we can go to the dungeon. There's a bunch of stuff that could be useful there. Let's do it. All right. It's not on the list of weapons. I don't even know what it does. <laughs> yeah, leaf lure is good, I think. If I'm even right about that. Probably. I mean, it's a late game weapon, so it can't be terrible, terrible, right? Yeah. I'd kind of forgotten that you could get that from Plantera. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's good. That's the thing about magic weapons, too. Like, they can be surprising and kind of deceptive because, like, the stated damage value doesn't always tell you much about it. <laughs> okay, so are we gonna First have. First try, Godly. Nice. It's not the best modifier for the Venus Magnum, but good enough. Yeah. It'll do. 